So we're going to do the final 10 laps of the Daytona 500. This is the biggest race in motorsports. Um, right here, Joey Logano in front, and we have some news that just came in. It doesn't just come in, but it just came in from you guys. Danny Hamlin is back there in 20th after being involved in a hard crash with Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch is now out of the race after that crash. Running second is Daniel Suarez and his 96 car. Third, Chase Elliott, stage two winner. Um, fourth, Martin Truex Jr. Fifth, Chris Buescher. Sixth, Kevin Harvick. Seventh, William Byron. Eighth, Bubba Wallace. Ninth, Alex Bowman. And tenth, Corey LaJoy. Stage one winner, Eric Amarola, is back with Clint Boyer and Brad Keselowski. The, the two and the 14 were involved in the hard crash, as well as the same situation as the 18 and the 11 of Denny Hamlin. So here we go. Final 10 laps of the Daytona 500 underway, giving you coverage. Logano out front, LaJoy Le challenging for eighth. This does not concern the lead that much. The 32, all over the back bumper of the 43 of Wallace. Can anyone catch Joey Logano? The 32 and the 43 hooked up as they go through three and four. Going across the stripe. Now, 10 laps to go in the Daytona 500. LaJoy sneaks to the outside of the 43. Makes it look easy. The 32 has a strong race car. Now, through the corner, he makes the pass. Now, Joey Logano out front. We have a challenger for second. I don't know how Suarez made it up this far. Chase Elliott slides. Gets a slasher block by the 96 with the 9 with a juke to the outside. And Chase Elliott would just look the stronger race car and the better racing equipment than God Brothers. Um, Joey Logano out front now. Lamar Church Jr. now challenging for the lead with seven laps to go. The 19 has never won on a restrictor point track in the Real Cup Series or this. Can he change that today? Now, through the corner, all over the back bumper of the 22. Six laps to go. Just waiting for the perfect moment. To let go, but the oil temps are not rising for the 19. Going through the corner. Martin Trench Jr. Out front in the... Joe got out front in the Daytona 500, but Trench Jr. on his bumper. Five to go this time. When will Trench make the move? He, he just said that the oil temps are at 2.15, so this is going to be the move right here. And there he goes. Then he overshoot the corner. They're side by side down the back stretch. Truex, Logano, side by side now. Logano with the advantage. Truex with the crossover. Four laps to go. Chase Elliott definitely closing in on this battle now. Logano back out front. Three to go. As they enter three and four. Three laps to go this time. Now, Truex Jr. back hooked up to Joey. Logano lost this race last year in a photo finish with Ricky Stenhouse. The 19 kisses the wall. Two laps to go this time. As they enter the corner now, Trent's trying to get to the low line. He touches the wall. And that could be in. That could be all Johnny Logano needs. Right now, Trent's into the wall again. More contact. Now as they come to the white flag. One lap to go. Brought to you by Credit One Bank. Joey Logano. Does he have enough fuel? We haven't talked about fuel yet. Trix Jr. challenging on the line. But he goes around. Goes around down the front stretch, down the back stretch. The tire goes down. Now coming to the white flag. One lap to go, brought to you by corner one. Trix Jr. continuing to lose positions. Finally, Joey Logano is going to get what he deserves in the turn four. Nobody can catch him. Joey Logano wins the Daytona 500. Picking up just where he left off. 
last year in the same race where he won stage one, Joey Logano takes the advantage and wins the Daytona 500. Martin Truex Jr. takes a 15th place finish. Chase Elliott gets second. Suarez third. Busher going to take a big leap. In the point standings, William Byron didn't talk about him. A lot of drivers that we didn't talk about this right. Austin Dillon, man, wow. I'm gonna take a fifteenth place finish. Here, Martin Truex Jr. Had high hopes, hitting a lot of the drivers that we thought could challenge for the win. Like, um, Danny Hamlin, he picks up 21st, 21st, um, 23rd, that's my bad. But Joey Logano, um, a lot of people say that he does the best burnouts in NASCAR. Well, you're seeing one right now. As he wins the prestigious Daytona 500. He is obviously going to take the points lead with his 100 point payoff. But I'm pretty, yeah, he has the most, it's going to be between him and Chase Elliott who has the points lead. Because they both had an overwhelming performance in this one. Joey Lugano and here we go, the burnout of the century right here. As he takes a victory lap. Uh, was he inviting Team Penske to join him? Yes, he's inviting Blaney and Kislowski to join him for this victory lap. This is, this victory lap is brought to you by Goodyear. Here. And as they take their three-car tandem around, Brad Kislowski, not the finish he wanted. Ryan Blaney didn't even get a good starting position, didn't even challenge for the win. So Team Penske had an overall pretty poor day. But it was capped off by a per near perfect performance in this prestigious race by Joey Logano as he takes the win. And um, the victory is brought to you by Sunoco. Feel your best as um, Team Penske has taken their successful victory lap um man we think seven we think 704 games for sponsoring the title this year um as joey logano continues to do his celebrated burnout of the century man um if we look at this Magazine, the next race, um, next race is at Las Vegas. Kevin Harvick won the spring race last year. First playoff race there was won by Ryan Newman, surprising fashion. Newman picked the three very surprising ones. He thought him he was going to be out in the first round. Then he was eliminated in the second round with Jimmy Johnson, Eric Almarola, and Ricky Stenhouse. Um, as Joey Logano heads to victory lane in the Daytona 500. As, as he joins Ricky Stenhouse Jr. for the, as they are the first two Daytona 500 winners, Stenhouse and Logano. Both Fords, as the Fords dominate the Daytona. Fords won all of Daytona um, races last year. Almarola winning the Coke Zero Sugar 400. Um, and then Ford also starting off with a great start in this one, winning both duels, but they failed to win the Clash. That was won by Chase Elliott. Um, Stenhouse did not perform well, but man, this burnout is awesome right here, as he just spins around like that. Um, this car, honestly, is also awesome. 
thank Shell Pennzoil again. We thank 704 Games for sponsoring this cup series. E EA Sports was uh, the title um, contract went off table after last year, and um, Joey Logano shows what inside uh, Shell Pennzoil Ford is made of. He won the regular season championship, and he is already out in front in the early proceedings of this season. Well, um, that's, that's going to do it from here. Joey Logano wins the Daytona 500. We don't have a really sign signified trophy, but um, trophy is the log nut here that I got from Daytona International Speedway. When I went to the actual 500, where we saw this dude win, Michael McDowell. Um, yeah. Also tune in for the Folds of Art of Quick Chip 500 um, in Atlanta this afternoon at 3:30. Um, do that as well as Joey Logano continues to hotly celebrate in this one, clinched into the playoffs. I think we already knew that was going to happen. They quick, quickly, um, um, yep, only one car out of this race, that was Kyle Busch, um, man, well, it wasn't exciting as I thought it would be, um, for this race, um, Truex Jr. gets 15th, um, let's see what happened on that, um, with two go, right up here, he was tucked in behind, and I think he needed clean air, and then Logano forced him off. And then on the final lap, my apologies, I lost track of lap count. Um, right here, just fighting on the bottom. He was, I think he was hoping to take Logano with him, the defending series champion. Not, uh, is not going to be in the top 10 in points, I don't think, after this one. As celebrated moment as Joey Logano comes across the line first in the Daytona 500. Well, um, thank you all for watching this one. Man, we are just continuing to burn down the house. Literally, burn. Joey Logano really worst roasting his tires here as he celebrates Thank you all for watching this one. Like and subscribe to this channel. It's going to be more things like this, like Atlanta, like Las Vegas next week, and on the next race. So, um, thank you all for watching, and I will have the point standings out in a little bit. Thank you.